All right, this is Ben House from Core Studio, and I'm going to show how to build and publish a Swarm app today. So I've got a classic Grasshopper definition open. This is straight out of the ModeLab primer and uh, generates a series of curves using a little bit of uh, kind of Grasshopper logic, just a little bit of math. And this is going to be a perfect example to turn into an app. So in Swarm, I Click this little plus button and say new app. Give it a name. And this says use the swarm builder component to start authoring the app. So that's what I'll do. Search for builder. And the trick here is to have name sliders and to shift and drag them all into the inputs component. And so as I did that, we're getting uh, the sort of UI populated over here on the right. Any changes in Grasshopper will sort of trickle through to the app, but that does not go the other way. That's a one-way street. So we've got some inputs, and let's get the output. So I've got a curve parameter uh, coming out of the little Voronoi component. Plug that into the outputs. And again, you'll see over here I get curves and I'd be able to bake these back out in Rhino. So that's it. I'm going to press play and say sure to create a save state. And it says my app is created successfully. So Let's go look at it in the marketplace. Uh, you can see it's got a sort of default image there. I want to make this both public and open source so that people can have access to the Grasshopper file. So I'll save and uh, just to kind of prove that it's there, go back to the public market and search for expression. And there it is. So in here, we can also see that the that save state that I made, the default one, kind of showed up. And that allows it to work in the browser by default, the viewer. Uh, so let's get into a top view and just make sure this works. OK. We're in business. That is how to make a swarm app. Thank you all.